I would like to invite up some of my collaborators, if that's okay. My uh, cinematographer, Aaron Kowalczyk. Um, and this is David Henry Gerson. The process, and you can bring in your collaborators. Let's speak to that. I think uh, it's different different projects, but in this one, there, uh, you know, there were a number of ideas that I was interested in exploring, and there was this basic script, a sort of short script, I guess, pretty short. Um, most of the actors hadn't really seen the script, I think, prior to, to shooting, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there was a great deal of working with things that presented themselves out there on the island. We were living on the island for about a month, and we tried to incorporate things that presented themselves uh, within this framework, uh, things that I felt like worked within this container. But I feel like some of the things that I am most excited about in the film, and some of the things that I just like most that I've ever been a part of are things that happen kind of spontaneously, or when you can kind of collaborate with the universe in a way where it presents you with something and you can find a way to kind of incorporate that. So, yeah, I think there was a great deal of that going on. I don't know if you guys want to say anything about that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just, just step forward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, like, magic. I, every project's different, and, like, I'm sort of never ceases to amaze me how every film has to, like, you start from scratch or something. But, uh, yeah, this one just felt like, okay, we're going to go in and, like, have some magic happen and, like, just sort of started happening and the whole process. I think this one really felt like the process of making it led into the actual like you see on the screen in a much more visceral way than maybe normal project. That was so great. was the containment, the idea of the containment, the idea of the island kind of primary in, in, in the idea? Or was it you came up with some ideas that, oh, but let's contain it all in an island. Uh, I think, actually, it all kind of started with Island. I think with both of my features, like, I'm, I'm working with pretty limited resources, so I often start with things that I have access to. So my first feature, The Woods, I, I, I shot it in the woods near where I grew up just because um, it, was, it was approachable. And I met David when The Woods was screening um, at Sundance a few years ago, and we started talking about the idea of collaborating on something on the island. And the island, as a character, was kind of one of the central concepts to making up from the beginning. So I think. That, that was really one of the first things that was there. That was really so when you said the script was very short, so how many pages was the script for a 90-minute film? Probably 50, okay. 55, something like that. And then, so did you allow, was there a lot of improvisation or, because there's also objects, there's a lot of objects and stuff, so are those little, for the actors, are those predetermined, or are those little surprises you bring in? How does, how, what's the evolution of this in the process of or maybe the actors can yeah, do a little bit about that. Is there anyone that Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, I, I, got, I think I got 16 pages of script. David invited me over to um, a cool patio in LA. And uh, Matthew Lesnar had remembered me from Sundance because of my white pants. I had a really nice pair of white pants that had a really ass accentuating <laughs> back. So uh, we met that way. Um, <laughs> I like those pants too. So we bonded on that. Um, and then you gave me 16 pages of uh, script. And then I arrived um, at, to do this movie with 16 pages. And then you, we had fun, a lot of fun. <laughs> and then uh, you said, come back tomorrow, I think. <laughs> and then we, you, I would come, and you would tell me about some dreams, or <coughs> I don't know. Honestly, um, it doesn't seem like a. a if you, <laughs> I wasn't trying to make sense of what we were making, but all of it made perfect sense to me. So they, I feel like there became this shorthand, where everyone was agreeing on certain aspects of like beauty and dance. And there was a lot of dancing that we did. Um, and I think that uh, there is a sort of willingness when somebody comes up to you as an actor and says, 
this is a, you know, it's a, a trope in movie making. This is all a dream sequence, right? So then you're free. You can do whatever you want. You're not, uh, it does, you can express yourself in a way. So I felt as an actor it was a very freeing experience. Not that it was a dream sequence, but in the, in the breadth of like, whatever you come up in this creative moment, uh, may or may not sen make sense, and you would come and uh, maneuver in a way, and we followed, and it was this beautiful dance that we all did, and it was maybe one of my favorite projects I've ever done. Oh, it was uh, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay.